zomygodscj.com. Hey guys, this is Gun Jeff from zomygodscj.com. And in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at the camera UI on Symbian 3. Um, as you can see right there, startup time is almost uh, instantaneous. And this is basically the camera UI right now. Um, you can see that the zoom in and zoom out uh, virtual keys are right there, or you can use the hardware buttons. Um, there's also um, a quick mode to change into uh, the video from, from photo mode, or you can just choose to switch your flash on and off right there. And then there's a settings menu, which gets you to the various settings, um, like scene modes, for example, or turning face detection on or off, or the grid view, if you want to turn on the grid. Um, self timer, color tone, exposure, whole bunch of stuff right there, or a shortcut just to go directly to the photos if you want to go directly to the photos application. Um, that takes a bit of time to load depending on how many images you have. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's how the uh, camera UI is. You can basically focus using the uh, button by half pressing it to focus, uh, waiting for the green light to come on if you can focus on something right there. And then pressing it uh, harder to take a picture. Um, of course, you can also use the on-screen button right there if you want to just um, take a picture more faster, as you can see there. Um, of course, once you take a picture, you can choose to um, edit it right from there or to share it. The editing mode does have um, a couple basic uh, editing things that you can see right there, like rotation, uh, resizing, cropping, adding fun stuff, red eye reduction, very useful uh, if you have a xenon flash or animations and various things like that. So yeah, that's the picture editor, uh, very useful so for some people I imagine. You can also share um, the image to uh, Twitter or your social networks uh, or just delete the image right there. Um, and there's also various settings that you can tinker with. Um, on the N8, you can uh, choose to go from 12 megapixel to 9 or other resolutions. You can choose to turn on the GPS geotagging um, and various other features there. So yeah, that's um, basically it for uh, the photo mode. The video mode, as you can see, is very similar. Um, there are less options though. There is just the scene mode um, and the couple, couple, very few options uh, right there. There's also um, the same settings menu again, uh, where you can choose to uh, change the resolution of the video and again, geotagging information and such. Um, but yeah, that's basically um, how it is. Um, I don't know if you can make out from here, but there's also um, the information for, right there. Yeah, that's also the information for how much time you have left, the format you're recording in and the, um, the resolution. Uh, similarly, in video mode, um, if you can see right there, once it loads up, yeah, in video mode, you can see how many pictures you have remaining, um, the resolution again, and uh, various other things like that. You can also see which scene mode you're in, and um, whether the face direction is on or off. But yeah, that's um, so that's basically it for uh, the contact you, the camera UI, sorry, on um, Symbian three. If you have any questions or comments, you can let us know in the comment section below. Uh, or you can check out the detailed post on the blog. Until then, I'm Clinton Jeff from zomigar.cj.com.